Hi everyone, today we will implement the tic-tac-toe game in React. You can learn how to create a JSX in React, manage data with use state hook and build the logic using functional components. It's a good exercise to practice React skills and also it's a common front-end interview question. I hope you know the rules of the tic-tac-toe game. Let's take a look at the design. As you can see, I will have a header, the status a string, and uh, the button for restarting. And uh, also, we'll have uh, the board. And uh, now I can press on some item. And uh, as you can see, the next player is X. And uh, now the next player is uh, zero. And uh, I'll quickly place several items. And uh, as you can see, winner is X. And uh, I can restart the game and uh, play again. And uh, let's go to the code. I opened my Visual Studio Code Hub folder for my apps and now I'm going to run new terminal and uh, run command npm create vite at latest. And uh, select React or provide project name. It will be tick tac to And select React JavaScript. And now I can navigate to my projects folder with CD tic tac -to. And uh, install dependencies with command npm install. And uh, I can open my folder source files, uh, JSX, and uh, remove all this auto generated code. We'll return some JSX. Let's be some h2 tag and like sick tag and also i can remove all these imports and uh, now i can launch my application with command command npm run that and uh, go to my application and check what i have okay i have my h2 tag now I can hide terminal and uh, adjust the styles. Uh, I can remove all the styles for buttons and uh, also for links. So I can remove this stuff and also this. And, uh, I can remove this place item center. Okay, and now I can adjust styles in apt CSS. Actually, I will remove all styles except a root element. And now uh, let's check what we have. Okay, we have our header at the top. And now I can write code in my app JSX. Uh, and uh, actually, I'm going to create new component for my board. And uh, if uh, you want to know more about creating uh, and uh, structure project uh, in Vita. You can check my video from the card. And uh, now I'm going to create new folder for my components. Components. And uh, inside folder, I will create file import JSX. And also, I need the uh, file for my CSS. Import CSS. And uh, it will be functional component, just function board, board, and uh, for now I'm going to return some JSX. Return. And uh, I can provide my container div, and uh, inside div I can place h2 tag and provide provide tick tag. And uh, also, I need some div and add some class name row. And uh, we need some status. For now, it will be just word. And uh, the next, uh, we need uh, some button for restarting. Uh, just place button and add some class name like restart button and provide text. Restart. Okay, and uh, now we can create our board for our game. I need div and uh, add class name. And uh, class name will be board row. 
and uh, I can place several buttons. Button one, two, and three. Each row will have three buttons. And now I can just copy paste this code, but uh, just the numbers four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, let's check what I have. Okay, we don't have anything because uh, we forgot to export and uh, import our component and uh, let's do it. Export default, default board, and uh, import inside our app JSX. Import board, and uh, inside our code, instead of h 2 tag, I'll just add this board. Board. Okay, and now we can check what we have. And uh, as you can see, we have our h 2 tag, our status, our, our restart, and our uh, so buttons. And uh, now we can add styles inside our board CSS. And uh, first of all, we need some styles for, let me check, for our board row. What's that class? And uh, I'm going to make it display flex. And uh, the next style I can add for our row, add some margins, it's also close, and uh, provide margin bottom 20 pixels. And uh, I can increase font size, font size, and make it 24 pixels. Okay, and uh, so we can add some styles for our button. We have restart button class. It's a class, and uh, we can also increase font size 20 pixels, add some placement like 10 pixels and 15 pixels, and uh, my cursor pointer. I, have, I can hide all these files and let's check. I'm going to refresh. Okay, we haven't added our styles to our JSX code. Let's do it. Import and from the root import CSS and let's check again. Okay, the styles were changed. We have margins and uh, bigger text. And uh, let's build a component for our buttons. Uh, I'm going to create the right component for our buttons, and uh, it will be some square. And uh, I'm going to create new file and add square JSX. And uh, also, I need some file for my styles. It will be square CSS. And uh, I can import my styles. Import square square CSS. And uh, create uh, functional components. One functional component uh, for square function square and uh, just return some JSX. It will be button and uh, I'm going to add some class class name class name will be square square and uh, uh, I'm going to pass value and use uh, object destructor. And uh, destruct my value, and uh, value will be inside button. Value, and uh, uh, we need to add styles inside our uh, square CSS for the class, and uh, adjust the styles. And uh, uh, I'm going to provide some width like 100 pixels, and height also will be 100 pixels. And uh, make some background. The ground color will be white. And uh, so we can add some border. Border for one pixel. Split it. And I use some gray color. Something like that. So let's check with the hub. I'm going to refresh it. Okay, we haven't added our component. And, uh, 
let me export it as default square and uh, in our board we can import our component import square and uh, instead of button i can use my component the square and uh, provide value value will be one i can remove all these buttons and uh, replace with square and provide values and uh, i'm going to do it for all rows okay and uh, i can change my values four five six seven eight nine and, uh, let's check what we have okay we have our board uh, and uh, we can adjust our styles further inside square css i can add from increase font size and uh, make it 48 pixels also i can set font font white font white bold and uh, make uh, my square display flex to align by center flex. and now i can align align items by center and uh, justify content by center and uh, we can make cursor pointer and add some margin five pixels for all sides and let's check on to have okay we have our board um, but uh, actually each uh, square can have only x or zero value and uh, we need indexes uh, to keep uh, the values of our of each square and um, i'm going to use array to keep uh, values uh, of my game board and, uh, let's go to the code and uh, use board and uh, i'm going to create state variable with hook use state as you can see import was added and uh, i need some array and uh, i'm going to fill it with empty values and uh, use fill and uh, now initially uh, each uh, element uh, of uh, array will have a null and uh, it will uh, represent our game board and uh, let me assign some variable to my use state and it will be squares and set squares function uh, if you know if you want to know more about uh, your state hook you can check my video when i described it and uh, also i need some state variable to check uh, what player is uh, next it will be it uh, can have only two values x or uh, zero and uh, we can use boolean value use state and uh, if uh, x it will be true true and uh, we can add variable name like if x next next and uh, also function and our function to change the name will be set if x next and uh, assign so if i is x next to true then uh, it means that uh, x player is next and uh, zero otherwise and uh, i can add some uh, code to render my square uh, i need to also on click uh, here and uh, i'm going to create function and uh, render my uh, function with um, uh, render my square with function to uh, reduce code duplications and, uh, the function will be const render render square, square. and uh, i'll pass index inside the uh, array and uh, index of my square and i will just return the square return square component uh, with uh, value and uh, on click and uh, value will be squares squares index we'll check uh, value from my state and uh, also i need on click on click 
Kalık Event Handler. Hatta Adobe some function. Hatta I'll provide function. Hatta we'll add handle click. And handle click. And uh, inside that function, I'll provide my index. Okay, and uh, now I can implement my on click handle click. Square and uh, I need to close my component here. Here, okay. And uh, handle click will be arrow function, uh, it will take also index as argument. And uh, by uh, clicking on the board element, uh, I'm going to uh, change uh, the status of uh, the clicked uh, element. And, uh, First of all, I need some copy of my array. It will be squares, squares copy, and uh, make squares and use slice function to make copy of my array. And uh, now I can provide the value by using squares copy index and uh, check if is x player then. I'll provide x, and uh, if not, uh, then the value will be zero. Okay, and uh, now I can set my squares change state to squares copy, and I change set is next to just to go is x next. Okay, and now we need to render our squares. And uh, I'm going to use curly braces and uh, render squares instead of uh, this component. And change indexes. Remove this code. And uh, I can replace also here and here. And change indexes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and uh, let's check what I have. I'm going to press. Okay, we haven't passed our own click event. We passed, uh, but uh, we haven't handled it inside our square. And, uh, I'm going to add it to our props using object. Destructor and uh, add to my button, and uh, it will be inside button. You can add and click event handler and uh, just provide my on click on some props. Let's check again. I'm going to press, and uh, as you can see, we have x zero, and uh, probably we can change to o to look better. And uh, I'm going to refresh the page and check again. Okay, we have uh, our values, uh, but uh, we don't calculate winner. As you can see, I can provide the same items, and uh, we have the winner, uh, but um, we can continue playing, and uh, let's change it. We need some function to calculate winner, and uh, it will be just uh, checking possible combinations and uh, uh, it's not re related to React code and uh, I'm going to create folder utils and uh, add some index index JS file and uh, implement my function here. It will be just function calculate winner and uh, it will take array. I will provide our squares array. And uh, also I need to export. export. And uh, now uh, I'm going to define all possible VM combinations. And uh, it will be 0, 1, 2. And uh, also 3, 4, 5. And uh, 6, 7, 8. The player can win if uh, they have uh, the same 
a jump in horizontal or vertical direction or diagonal. So and uh, we'll just uh, provide uh, the indexes of possible linear combination. So zero, one, two, and uh, three, four, five, and uh, six, seven, eight, and four. That will have um, zero, three, six, and uh, I'm going to just uh, place all possible combination in my array. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, we need one, four, seven, and uh, also two, five, eight, and uh, also for diagonal, I'm going to use zero, four, eight, and uh, also two, sorry, two, four, six. And uh, now we can go through our lines using four left i from zero to i less than lines lengths and increase our index and I check each line using array destruction a b c and use our lines i I need to change to carbon braces. And uh, for each line, I will check if uh, the symbols are equal. If squares A and, and squares A uh, equals to squares B and also squares A equals to squares C. Uh, then uh, it means that uh, we have winner and we'll just return our char in squares A. And uh, uh, if uh, we passed uh, the loop and uh, haven't found the winner, then we'll just return no. And uh, it will mean uh, that uh, we can continue the game. And uh, now I'm going to return to my code and uh, import our function. Import calculate winner. And uh, use my calculate winner and uh, handle click. And uh, I'm going to check if uh, we have calculate winner and provide our squares copy array and uh, also we need to check if uh, we have some values in our squares array for our index and uh, if uh, we have some value that means that a uh, player already marked uh, this uh, board element uh, with some value and uh, we need just a return uh, we are not going to change the value Okay, and uh, now we can change status. We just uh, provided world. And, uh, I am going to use some variable for status. And uh, now I can create it. Const status. And uh, it will be even less because I'm going to change it. And uh, now I can get my value of uh, get the value of a winner to check who is a winner calculate winner and use my squares array and uh, depending on the winner i will change the status winner uh, then i can provide status something like winner winner and provide the winner and uh, we know the winner and uh, if we don't have a winner and uh, our calculate winner function returned no then we can adjust our status and uh, provide next player next 
poem and the use of is x next and check if uh, is x next then we will provide text and uh, zero i'm going to use this and uh, zero otherwise okay and uh, let's check what we have i'm going to refresh the page and uh, press okay and we don't have winner let's check again now i'm going to add winner we have a winner and uh, as you can see uh, the status was changed and uh, i cannot uh, press uh, on the i can press but uh, uh, I don't see any chance uh, because uh, this handle click uh, just returned because we have a winner. And uh, also we need to add some handle handling to our restarting. And uh, I'm going to add on click on click and to provide some function just handle just. And restart. And, uh, it will be arrow function. Start will be just handle restart. And restart. And uh, by pressing, uh, I'm going to just uh, fill my squares array with uh, the values. It will be set squares and uh, just array. And uh, fill with empty values. Fill with mouse. Okay, let's check the whole functionality again. I'm going to restart and uh, refresh my page. You can press symbols. And uh, uh, I don't have uh, any fields, any squares that I can fill. And, uh, I can restart. As you can see, the next player is uh, zero. And uh, you can press some uh, marks. And uh, let's check that we have a winner, we have a winner, and we can restart. And uh, I can, okay, and we have a winner in a vertical direction. Everything is working as expected. If you have some difficulties with understanding React code, check my React.js course. If uh, you like the video, subscribe to my DevWeb app channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.